Hello, welcome back. The throne has been claimed, the throne of death, by uh, an anointed of Ruax. Pretty sure that's Abyss here. And since the throne of death has been claimed, everyone aged, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, found two magic sites, Howling Gorge for an Ur gem, and a Veiled Willow, I believe, is a Glamour gem. And we had a battle in the fortress of Katiz. Uh, so, we ping this with a commander. I think he survives as well, so good job. Uh, so here's what's in Kittiz's fort. Uh, not what I was expecting, honestly. So lots of long dead horsemen. Okay. Uh, I don't see any like sacred stuff. Lots of elite warriors though. Tons of these guys. Uh, and some falchioneers. Even some crocodiles as well. Uh, also nothing but astral mages, pretty much. So it's basically 24 lizard shaman. When I think of Katiz, I think of just a bunch of skelly spammers, but uh, not the case. A couple of chariots up here. So mostly just communion. If I unpause, you'll see. I think I counted four masters, and the rest were slaves. And this guy is also a master. Got some nature gems as well. The other guys don't have gems, the other masters. So, I'm not sure if this is an Astral Communion or a Nature Communion, I assume Astral? Um, yeah. So maybe we don't have to worry about getting clogged up in the gate so much as getting, I don't know, Soul Slope, maybe? I'm not sure what to make of an Astral Communion. Uh, I think maybe just Soul Slope. Now, he does also have his God in the battle, who is a Foul Vapors caster. I don't think that bothers us too much, because we have so many hit points. But it would be, you know, nice to have some poison resist. I think poison also lowers your stats now, so maybe that's bad. Um, besides that, I don't have much to say. There is like one death dude in the front, I think, yeah. Uh, that's what we can see anyway. So 23 Lizard Shaman, his god, a couple of other miscellaneous things. Uh, 85 Elite Warriors, 71 Falchioneers, and 200 Horses. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I think we can storm that fairly safely with just a little bit of prep. We'll get some Poison Res, and we'll... I don't know, we'll make sure we can get into the Fortress. Might cast some Magic Resistance on our dudes in case there's lots of Soul Slays too. Uh, anyway. Event then, 66 gold, huge treasure. Uh, Katiz is open, and we did some patrolling, and that's it for messages. Uh, yeah, Dominion is also down to two candles, so... I don't know, it's positives and negatives, right? We'll get rid of the heat, but we'll also weaken him and potentially don't kill him. Plan at the moment then is just to continue sitting here sieging and preaching. Uh, we do have a new N2 mage, so she's going to come down. Uh, she'll be able to cast... And poison resistance on us, I believe. Yeah, poison ward. So AOE 20, 10 poison res. Seems pretty good. Uh, we'll wait till she gets to the army then. Make sure we've got her. I'm also going to go ahead and recruit some of these gijas. Just for a bit of path diversity, really. Maybe they'll get some astral or glamour or something. Uh, they also come with glamour. And I've slotted in Alteration 3. I've made sure we can get that this month. So we can also get some Body Ethereal. So we can make a few Ethereal Giants as well so that they can walk through the wall. Uh, we can also cast Flight on some of them as well, probably. It also lets us get over the wall, hopefully. So a little bit of prep. It'll take, I think, two turns to get to Katiz. I'm moving her to Grainport. But I'm also forging another pair of Boots of the Messenger, which I think will allow her to walk from Grainport to Katiz. It's two swamps, but I, I think so. Uh, I'm also forging some Rings of Levitation as well. That's to hopefully allow the Gijas to walk straight to Katiz as well. But we'll see. <laughs> um, some other bits of gear as well. I'm making a Thistle Mace Aura, a Ring of Lev, Ring of Lev. Oh, I should have been forging a Ring of Fire. Did that not get made? Oh, that's awkward. 
I might have taken them off Ring of Fire forging because um, I was trying to hit 200, uh, 200 research. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake then. Ideally, she would also have fire resistance before joining the army. <laughs> uh, can you cast... What's it called? A nature spell that gives you all the uh, resists? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I was supposed to forge a fire resist ring. It's a bit awkward if I didn't do that. So, uh, <laughs> what was the intent? Uh, I guess I can wait one more turn, why not? Yeah, it would be best to make sure she has fire resist if she's with the army. And then again, I mean, yeah, because she needs to stand near the giants to put poison res on them, really. We have the little N1 mages who do poison res on the mages. I was hoping to put her in amongst the troops. You needed the fire resist ring. I could give her the sword instead of the thistle mace, I suppose. I can't believe I accidentally uncommanded them to make a fire resist ring. God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, anyway, that'll be the plan here. I'm also building a temple in Gwaladon and uh, we're moving another priest to Ulifa, so. Uh, either we'll storm in a few turns or we'll probably just end up dumb killing him anyway. That's fine. Scouts are going to move off into the world. Still have no god. I would really like to know where the thrones are so that we can make some decisions about what we do next. I think we're going to wrap up Katiz. We might, I don't know, have some fights with Kalem then, but plan's probably going to be to finish off Enchantment 7 and Construction 7. Uh, we'll start forging a shitload of Lightless Lanterns and get up Phoenix Pyre. Um, Eternal Pyre. And then we'll catch up on some research, and then probably attack somebody else. I did see on the Discord, uh, whoever Beratos is at war with posted that they just killed a bunch of their sacreds, so you know. We'll try and scout some of their stuff as well. Got one scout heading this way, and one heading into Kalem, so... We'll see what we can see. And uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, of course there's this too, so... <laughs> we got these two dudes, get out. Um, so two guys, each with 15 shock res, some regen, and some reinvigoration. They are going to hit this province with the, what is it, 30 size 9 air alleys? Really hope that goes well. <laughs> be nice to take that back. Really annoying because it's, it splits up our nation, f and it splits it up from the steel ovens as well, which is a bit awkward. These guys just sitting here a bit longer. And uh, I think that's it for messages. Uh, I think that's it for this turn, I mean. And there's uh, Kalem's God as well. I guess that could attack us. It's not out of the question. And that's it for this turn. Uh, so I'll leave it there. It's turn 37. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have some alteration. So just pick that up quickly for body ethereal. Uh, if you're ethereal, you can walk through fort walls, so can be kind of useful in a fort storm. Uh, still usual targets, but almost got enchantment 5 now as well. And then we'll grab the construction. Uh, continuing the <laughs> incredible luck, our jade sorceress found an enchanted well, so another water gem. And also the entire nation rejoices. Dominion 6 with all the DLC is out. So our god is up and about. Well. <laughs> As up and about as a geyser can be. We then had a battle in score point. So we had to clear out quite a few size 9 air elementals. Sent in some uh, large gentlemen to sort them out. So I suspected we would take no damage if we had enough shock rows. Seems to be the case. Also got Holy Avenger and uh, Fire Shield, so... Yeah, pretty easy to clear these guys out. Takes a little bit of time. I have no idea why this dude just randomly cast Falling Fires, but... <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we get through it eventually. Not too bad. I don't know if I mentioned it explicitly either, but um, the second Muspel Yol that we got is also Fire 4, which is, you know, <laughs> not super useful. But there we go. Uh, took that back. We then also had an event where we got attacked by an air elemental as well, so... <laughs> Uh, suddenly the air has come to life and attacked one of your commanders. So, more of the same, you know. Good stuff. Uh, and then again in Scroll Point, another event, uh, a large group of people have started to worship a false pretender. Yeah, not a great province, Scroll Point, is it? Just uh, constantly obnoxious. Waywoods, we also got some unrest, so that's great. <laughs> Uh, Katis is still breached, we did some more patrolling. Uh, yeah, so, finish off the scripts in Katiz. Um, a ring of lev does not allow you to get to Katiz, unfortunately, so... The two geezers we got, who aren't super useful, honestly. One's death and one's blood. Uh, they'll go to Sodden Merc, I mean, they'll get there eventually. But, uh, uh this guy... ...can go straight to Katiz. Bring you some nature gems, he's gonna do poison ward on people. Also bringing some pearls for one of our astral casters. Uh, this one is going to eventually try and cast spell ward. This requires S2 and a gem. So we can use a pearl to cast power of the spheres, which will get us to S2. And then we can try casting this with some more pearls, but yeah, we need more pearls. <laughs> There's only one with this army, so can't really script it properly at the moment, but that'll be the plan once she arrives. Uh, and I changed the scripting around a little bit. There's a few like extra things now. Uh, we have three S1 mages in here in these stacks of muscle giants doing some body ethereal. So we'll put some body ethereal down. Um, there's one of them. So we'll just ethereal some of the giants so that they can walk through walls. Uh, these two... Muspel Dotters up here are doing some Farleys, so we just have some additional ethereal stuff walking through the wall. Uh, other than that, we've switched around the air buff we sometimes do. So with a gem, we can now do True Shot, True Shot Warriors, which gives precision to AoE 20. So instead of doing the AoE 1 version, we can do this version. And I think that's it for the main stuff. Yeah, we have this caster coming doing Poison Ward. Most other things are not really changed. Still doing a few ignite arrows, casters then do falling fires. So not much has changed. It might be worth um, putting up mist at some point. Um, the caster creates a dense magical mist across the battlefield that makes it difficult to see far and prevents any cloud effects from dissipating properly. So I guess that means our heat auras will last longer. That might be good. Uh, I could stick it on the end of the script once everyone's done their main falling fires, maybe. Uh, it's an idea. Do I have any free air gems? No. I could bring over some air gems as well. Uh, let's see. And yeah, we'll probably just storm next month. We'll see how it goes. We are clearing out Dominion. It's one white candle now. Still five here, and I'm building a temple. I forgot though, a lot of the underwater Dominion might still be Katiz's, so... Because it's more likely this is Abyssia's, they're probably bloodsacking, right? Some of this is definitely Kalem's. This is Katiz's though, I know that for a fact. But, um, I mean, I think we've done enough, right? The god's gonna be really weak in one white candle. It also won't be blessed for what matters, what that matters. Um, and we bought over some poison res. Yeah, I think we'll just storm next month, no matter what. See how it goes. We should be okay. Some of his units might start deserting now as well, since we've been storming him for a while. He shouldn't have any income. But uh, I mean, again, we'll see. Now though, that's basically it. Uh, you may notice I'm moving stuff away from borders at the moment, though. Uh, mostly that's just because of Abyssia. And this is the building up some stuff. It's not very threatening to us, is the thing. 
like militias, heavy infantry, and some lions. <laughs> and some ictids here. But it would be enough to take an empty fort. I'm wondering why would he have militias and heavy infantry in this form is the thing. So yeah, I'm just going to move stuff back. I'll move it in this direction for a bit. We'd probably put something in this palisade so that it represents a bit more force on the map. So these guys will start walking in that direction. These guys can also move off the border now, I think. Move in that direction. And the two big guys, uh, they can head back to the cap, pick up some of the sacreds though. And we'll walk over just in case we need to. And oh yeah, there's our god. <laughs> just in case you skip the intro video. Uh, not much to say about this. Apparently, he was supposed to be able to forge Glamour Boosters for us. Um, but we have an Epsmith, Smith, so he can't. <laughs> a bit of an oversight. But uh, I'm not sure what to do with him at the moment. I was thinking of summoning Yetis, though. We have a lot of water gems, and not a lot of use for water gems, although... Um, I mean, Yetis are really cool as well. Quite gem efficient too. But I don't know, I could probably put up some water gem, well, some water globals one day. Not sure what exactly, but... <laughs> Might have to go into Thaumaturgy. Get Venture Water up. Requires Water 7, we have... Oh, 5. We could get up to Water 6 quite easily. We can't wear a robe, so we can't get to 7, I don't think. Unless there's some new water booster I'm not aware of. Um, so what does that give us? I'm not sure what the other water globals are. It's Vengeful Water and what? What's the important globals in uh, water? Guardians of the Deep? I don't think so. Sea of Ice? No point. Uh, Molstrom? We can't get him underwater, I don't think, though. <laughs> Um, construction, enchantment, bishop of mind. I don't think we have death. Wrath of the sea. The sea will rise and flood all coastal provinces. Don't think that's useful to us. Uh, I think the only useful water global would be Vengeful, which we can't do, unfortunately. Unless we figure out a way to get him another level. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's it for this turn. Am I still recruiting maids here? No. Spent a lot of gold putting a temple down here, but try and get some better mage recruitment next month. Although research isn't too bad now. My god does a ton of research as well. 41. Pretty good. <laughs> it's 1038 though. Hopefully we wrap this up soon. And yeah, we're getting more uh, scouts. Uh, I am recruiting scouts again this turn. So we'll start seeing what this section of the map looks like at least. Probably a good idea. Uh, and that's turn 38. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, our god has, in fact, discovered all of the thrones. That's nice. Uh, nine undiscovered thrones. So I'll look at those. Uh, our S site search have found three sites. Pretty cool. Uh, Lab of Skulls is a death gem. Sparkling Fields is a... I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> Uh, gem? Okay. And Skywatch is a pearl. Alright then, so not bad. Three gems from one province from a basic site searcher. Uh, Peskin, we lost some dominion. Local sect is flourishing. Uh, in Eric's, religious misconceptions and falsehoods are spreading. Dominion is reduced by one. <laughs> lost another scout. God damn it, these expensive scouts I'm buying just don't survive very long. Uh, a lot of patrolling going on in Grain Coast. A lot of uh, PD as well, actually. Uh, and Katiz is still breached. Yeah, we're going to storm it this turn, why not? So I'll look at that last. First up though, Thrones. Uh, yeah, they're all over here. They're all <laughs> nowhere near me. So we got this throne. And then there's two underwater thrones near us as well. And then the rest are here. Somewhere in the cave as well though, which I can now look at. I think. Oh. Um, yeah. So I can see the thrones in the cave. I guess I can't see which cave connects to the surface from where I am, though. I guess I don't know that province. But uh, let's see. The womb, underhome, golm. Under okay, so there's three thrones underground as well. Uh, that's kind of interesting. 
Not sure what we do about that. I mean, we'd have to go through this to get underground, right? I guess that's why this is like this. Now it makes sense. He's blocking me from getting into the cave and taking his underground thrones, okay. Uh, anyway, this turn. So, new scout is going to go a different direction, not through Grand Coast. We'll try and see some more of this territory. Uh, also up here, what is this? Are there really just two provinces here? There might be a connection to this, I guess. So the scout's going to go up. That's kind of funny though. We could march a little army just to take this and secure the uh, end of the peninsula. That is a nice then adjacent to this throne too. Yeah, so we'll keep scouting around here. I think after we storm Katiz, as long as it goes well, there's a few little things we could do. We could try securing these little underwater provinces, maybe this as well. Also clean up some of Kalem's stuff. And then at some point we're going to need to push in here and take these inland thrones. Uh, and yeah, I did see on the Discord Beritos has lost some sacreds recently. So we can probably push in through Beritos' stuff. But again, that's like the furthest. <laughs> Rumor Chaka might be better, there's two right here, but whatever, let's just do what we can. Um, yeah, that will that does mean I'm going to start moving some stuff back up towards, uh, what is this, Duluffy? Or Duluffy? So we have some stuff coming out of our cap. 23 sacreds, plus a Gija. And there's stuff already lingering around here. We don't have any fire res uh, priests. Do we have a holy two guy anywhere around here? No. I could recruit some H2s, I guess. And uh, yeah, just put fire resist rings on them or something. Probably not a bad idea. I would like more scouts though. <laughs> um, I mean, let's just do that. I'll just make sure we've got at least one good, good uh, blesser in the area. I've got a ring of fire res made now as well. So that's already there. Yeah, we'll push some stuff up here. Scout's going to be on this fort next turn, so we'll see what's there. And that'll probably be a good next target as well. There is a lot of stuff building up here. It's currently 210 units. It's mostly corpse constructs, raptorian warriors, and springhawks though. I don't think any of that's too threatening except the springhawks, and the springhawks just do shock res. So just this turn I'm just going to move um, our two big thug guys down there, because they should be pretty resistant to all of that junk. Hopefully. And I imagine I can probably cross an unfrozen river, right? It's just flying units and undead units. I assume that can all just cross a river. I could be wrong. Maybe corpse constructs can't, can't because they're uh, electrical or something. But sure, I'm just going to sit here for a turn or two just defending. At some point uh, I should put some underwater gear on these guys to clear up these uh, underwater provinces though. Speaking of, Gonna forge some pills of water breathing. So I'll start making some of these. We can get some units underwater. Go do underwater stuff. Also gonna try out some spells. So we have a nature mage doing a sloth of bears. See some bears. <laughs> and in range of light, I, I think it's yeah. I have someone doing summon glossos. So we'll check out bears and glossos next turn. And also in my cap, my god is gonna start summoning yetis because I love yetis. So we'll get some of those too. I think that's it for the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, next order of business, yeah, is going to be Storming Katiz. So uh, let's look at some important mages first of all. I'll just select the guys with gems. I think these guys are just uh, Phoenix powering themselves. So, Nature Mage is in the front. She now has 15 hit points and fire res. It's about as good as she's going to get. If she gets hit by an arrow on turn one of the battle, probably just dies immediately, <laughs> even with 15 hit points. Hopefully that doesn't happen. If she can survive one turn, I'm going to put up um, Urshil first. And then she just spams Poison Ward for four turns, so... We'll hopefully get some Poison Res down on most of our guys. Hopefully. We do still have the uh, small Nature Mages doing the small Gift of the Serpent too. Uh, we have an Astral Mage who is only S1, so she's not super good at this, but she's going to put up Power of the Spheres, Foster Gem, uses 100 Fatigue, Gives a plus one to all magic paths. 
That then makes her S2, so she can cast Spell Ward. She's going to be very fatigued at that point, so I'm not sure if that's, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure how many times she's going to cast this, but since it looks like an Astral Communion, giving all units four magic resistance, probably a good idea. Uh, we also have an Ermage doing Mist at the end of her script, so Mist will, it will limit precision of all spells and missiles. That might be bad for us because we have an awful lot of arrows and falling fires. On the other hand, it does make clouds last longer, which seems like it might be good for our Heatorers, so. I don't know, I guess there's an argument to be made that we don't need it because we just have so much Heatora. But, um, I don't know, we'll leave it in there anyway, see how it, uh, how it feels. Uh, these guys are doing True Shot Warriors, so extra precision. I guess that helps cancel out the mist a little bit as well. And that's it. The other guys are, you know, more standard. So some guys are doing fire leaves at the top. The rest of them are basically just doing falling fires. We got some body ethereals on some of the guys in the front. I think I, I made it so that one of these uh, mages, let's see, probably one without gems. This one maybe? Yeah. He's just casting Gift of Flight on some people too. Uh, and besides that, armies are ranged like this. So we have, oops, oh, I'm still not used to um, <laughs> Which button is which, because they, they reversed from Dominions 5. Uh, three blocks of giants in the front. I think I'll just leave them as blocks. I don't think we need a blocking line in a fort storm. Um, these guys should just try and get in the gate immediately. But everyone's just on attack immediately. Uh, the mages inside these blocks are doing the buffs, so body ethereal and flight and stuff. Um, that'll help them get through the walls and things. Behind them we've got the archers and the slingers. They've got some buffers too, doing ignite arrows on turn three. Uh, and that's it. Bone tribe at the back, why not? <laughs> Nature mage is mixed in to do the poison res. Commander staying outside of the battle. So he's just continuing to siege, just in, th just in case something goes really wrong. Uh, where is he? There he is. Carrying glamour gems, but we don't actually have any use for them, unfortunately. So we'll storm this turn. See how it goes. I'm hoping it'll be okay. At that point, the other thing we need to do then is just research a bit so we can catch up on. We'll box off enchantment this turn, lets us do shock res. We'll get the construction, make a fire booster, and then we'll try and get. Um, I'll try and keep my number of fire gems above, say, 80. Mm. And then I'll try and put up eternal pyre. But with the gems above 80, I'll make some lightless lanterns. Apparently the Glamour Booster is also good for research. The uh, Glamour Research Booster is also good. So where is that? Glamour Research Booster. Oh, this thing. Oh yeah, 9 research for 5 gems. That would be good. It can only be used by Glamour Mages though. Okay. I don't make a lot of Glamour Gems. I do make 4 though. So with the Steel Ovens. Is that... Oh yeah, it costs four. Alright, I guess this one mage can make dreamstones every turn as well, and that's not bad. Nine more research for basically nothing. This costs us our income. Okay. We'll start doing that too. Uh, I am also going to start recruiting the regular gauges in this port as well. Just to get a little bit of, well, some slightly different paths. Useful to have different paths in Durland. It will be a giant fort next month as well, which is good. You just need to upgrade these two then, probably bottom wield next. And uh, I think that's it for this turn, so... You know... Things still going well. We don't have any astral income yet. A little plus one per turn. Not great. I'll leave things there though. Let's turn 39. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the Storming of Katiz. Very exciting.